My grace is always sufficient for you. This timely word is so encouraging to me. When I read it this morning, I'm like, oh, wow. I have been through the fires, so many trials. Like, there were times when I felt like God's grace was nowhere near, even though I knew that he was with me, but I didn't sense his presence. I didn't see the victories the way that I desired it and as quickly as I desired to see it. Um, I knew he was putting me through the fire to um, help refine (laughs) my personality, my attitude um, to produce the fruit that is pleasant that he desires to see in me. You know, instead of retaliating when um, I'm being insulted and um, degraded or whatever, uh, my old nature, I would retaliate and I would probably say some very not nice things right there and then. But I sense that the Lord is trying to cultivate patience, love, long suffering and um, self-control on my part. So, um, man... And there are many, many other things that's taken place in the last few weeks. But um, listen to these awesome awesome words for November 25th, 2019 by Dr. June Sheltron Reich. She's awesome. My grace is always sufficient to you, for you, says the Lord. You better not pee on the carpet, boy. My son's dog. Hey, Blue. Yes. God's grace is sufficient for you too, okay? <laughs> You're a good boy. When was the last time you had a bath? Did you fall? <laughs> Did you just too? <laughs> Alright. You will never have a deficit of it. No matter what you face, you will have my unmerited favor that rests upon you. You need nothing else than my presence and power to overcome every obstacle. Remove every barrier that stands in the way. Knock down every wall and weather every storm. Nothing is greater than my grace for you. Let me say that again because we need to remember this in times of trials and storms. We need to remember this. Nothing is greater than God's grace for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord. As you receive it freely through exercising the faith and trust in me that I have given you, says the Lord. So we do have our parts to do. We must exercise our faith, the gift of faith that God has given us. Amen. You are not faithless, for I have given you the measure of faith to use that cannot be empty or unproductive, says the Lord. As you walk by my faith that i have given you you will not be controlled by circumstances that will change oh boy do they always change let's see the onslaught of the enemy and the device and his devices will not control you change you alter you or cause you to be destroyed i have given you the power of my spirit as I, as a gift of my grace, and you will overcome every evil as my grace has given you the access to every unspeakable gift of my spirit and my power that enables you to stand against the evil one and <laughs> defeat every enemy that comes against you. By my grace and mighty power invested in you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. What a beautiful, encouraging promise. Amen. Remember, there's nothing greater than God's grace for us. Hallelujah. We can thank him for his grace. You know, I went to a Thanksgiving worship last night. It was so beautiful. Our church got to help lead... um, the worship we did the first three worship songs and uh another pastor brought in an, a great message on thanksgiving being thankful it was really powerful really anointed and then the um the other worship pastor sang a beautiful song jesus at the center um, of it all 
man, his voice was incredible. It was so, so powerful, so beautiful. And um, I forgot why I was sharing this. <laughs> but to be thankful, we are in the season. Ooh, God bless you. Don't sneeze on me. <laughs> We're in a season of thanksgiving. So we can thank him for God's grace. There's nothing greater than his grace, his mercy, his favor. Amen. Look at this dog. He just wants me to pet him. Blue, look. Blue. Blue, look. Look. Turn around. Look, look. Turn around. 